Today, I wanna answer the question, should you build your credit? How important is your credit score? Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, for this topic, there's a worldly answer and then there is a righteous answer. There's a worldly answer and then there is a righteous set apart answer. And the answer for you what answer you're gonna gravitate towards is do you want to be seen in a set apart righteous light or do you want to be seen uh, more in a worldly light? The word does say that the borrower is slave to the lender. You know, I've done videos before talking about the credit system, how it was established. Uh, it was on, I, I really broke it down on my Sabbath day teaching about keeping your word. Because you gotta think a lot of what people know is the credit system and why you need it. It's just a metric to be able to see if you are worthy of keeping your word. I want you to understand this. A lot of people have adopted this Roman Greco way of living, this credit system and you've bought things that you really don't have the money for. And I'll give you an example. Say for instance, you got $10,000 in the bank. You got a mortgage, you know, uh, uh, that you took out a loan for, for 150,000, okay? You got a couple credit cards, you know, maybe five, five thousand, $7,000 balance, you got a car note, you know, if you're married, you got two car notes. You might be making good money, but the reason you have to work as hard as you do is because you are a slave to the lender. The minute you say, no, nah, I don't have to work that hard, okay? They're gonna come for your, your house, they're gonna come for those cars, everything that you've financed and took a loan out on. You don't pay those credit cards, they're sending somebody after you. The whole goal of this thing is not to have people after you. When you gotta look at it, you might got $5,000 in the bank account, but you're so far in the hole in debt that you really, you're broke, but you don't like to look at it like that based upon the credit system that, you know, a lot of people have adopted. And I'll tell you, there's a man somewhere out there, a man or a woman that's driving an old hoopty, what you call a hoopty. You know, they got the title free and clear, doesn't have a lien holder on it. And they might have $50 to their name. And you might look at it and say, dang, I would hate to live like that. But that person is freer than you. That person is more set apart than you because nobody could ever come from them. You see what I'm saying? Oftentimes, I've talked about it before, of uh, men and women who are parents having the standard that when their kids are 18, they gotta get out the house. And that's a bad system because you know what they're gonna do. They're gonna go out there and they're gonna rack up debt. Let me focus on this credit score so I can buy stuff that I really can't afford. There's a difference between you going somewhere and buying something and they asking you how much can you afford per month and then saying, hey, what's your total budget? Generally, if they're saying your total budget, then you're, you're in the ballpark of, okay, I have the funds to be able to buy it. But you go to a dealership, chances are they're gonna ask you, how much do you wanna pay for a month? They're automatically uh, under the assumption that you're gonna wanna finance. Most people do. You gotta look at it. Right now, America, has the highest repossession rate it's ever had. Why? Behind people that once thought they could afford it, 
and now they can't due to uh, the politicians saying we're creating more jobs. These jobs are getting part-time. A lot of these jobs are getting uh, replaced by AI. You're going in stores, you're seeing technology where there used to be a person. Ain't nobody creating jobs, that's to warp your mind. And here you are, you think about this. Man, the interest rates are high now. It's, 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 it's a game they play. So they know, okay, we don't mind repoing that vehicle. We're just gonna resell it for the same amount now because you got used cars going for more than what new cars are going for. Interest rates are high as crack. So you have to think about this. How are you gonna live your life? If you kick your kids out the house at 18 as a girl or woman, let me tell you what your daughter's chances are she's gonna do. She's gonna go out and play the harlot. She's gonna go out and play the harlot. Instead of you keeping her uh, blameless, giving the adversary not to, to speak against her, keeping her in her house, keeping her pure. She's going to go out there. She's going to rack up debt. She's going to go get Sephora. She's going to go get Mac. She's going to go get all of these different credit cards. And then later on, she'll be like, well, this is how I built my credit. You don't need credit. Man, you got the Amish community. They don't even use credit. They don't use credit. You know, at a bare minimum, I'll give you I'll give you a, a bridge in the middle for the people that's like, well, I, I, I'm against both sides of what you're saying. I'll say about the only time that you need credit, you know, a credit card. You can have a prepaid credit card. You can get that from the bank and you can put a thousand dollars cash on it, a prepaid credit card. That way you don't owe anything. And the way, the, the reason I'm giving you that is because Say for instance, you travel, you need a, uh, what is it? A, a rental car or something like that. And they say, we'll require a major credit card. If not, they want a large lump sum of money, but your credit card is prepaid. It's not anybody giving you a line of credit, you giving yourself a line of credit. And that's the safest route in that, in, in uh, using credit right there where, where you don't become a slave to the lender. Because guess what? You take $1,000 to the bank and say, hey, I need a credit card because some of the things that I'm moving, it require you have a credit card. How do you get around that? A secured credit card. Here's my $1,000, make my credit limit $1,000. You go swipe it for 500 for a rental car, you don't owe anybody. It's secured. You already paid the balance on it. One thousand. You can't go over what you. Uh, you can't go over the the funds that you actually have. So there's the bridge right there in the middle. But man, believers of the Most High, y'all should be working towards getting out of debt. Getting out of debt. A lot of these holidays keep people in debt. This is the stuff that wrecks your credit. Finance this. You didn't finance. Your furniture, you didn't finance your house, you didn't finance your car, finance your TVs, you didn't finance your, your doggone veneers, you didn't finance jewelry, you didn't finance shoes. When you go look up the stuff people spend uh, their line of credit on, you'll realize now you couldn't afford none of that. And you're going to some of these uh, communities, whether it be the Amish, these third world countries, if you don't have the money, you don't buy it. That's the simplest thing. If you don't have the money, you don't buy it. Some of this stuff, you gotta understand, if you got some credit card debt and you're one of these people that every year you do spring cleaning and you're getting rid of stuff, don't just be giving your stuff to Goodwill, not if you didn't rack debt. No, go sell it. Do a yard sale. Get some of this money back. Get away from some of this, some of this debt you got. I'm telling you, a lot of people, you know, die with a lot of debt. If you're somebody that likes to move houses every 10 years, chances are you're gonna have a lot of debt because you're just gonna move around, buying and selling, buying and selling, and you won't actually own anything. That example of that man or woman uh, driving that old pickup truck, you say, man, that's a raggedy old pickup truck. They own that truck, the truck don't own them. You see what I'm saying? Their budget is not as tight as yours because they don't have all this debt. When you're taking part in this debt system, this credit system, a lot of your income that you go out and work hard for, I had to work 60 hours this week. When you pay your bills, part of your bills is paying off debt. 
the most high Yah's will for you was not to accumulate debt. Closer to Yah ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.